what is up everybody welcome for the first time we're back to another dlj works video and we are recording in the early hours so if i sound a little bit more monotone then i am trying to record while everybody is still sleeping right now so forgive me for that but with that out of the way let's go ahead and jump right into the thick of this video so i'm going to show you how to actually sell courses right here on uscreen and not just through subscription but individual courses if you have a uscreen account and if you don't have a uscreen account but you're looking to not only have your own streaming content platform and you want to do you want to have total control you want to be able to have all these options to be able to do things like not only offer a subscription offering for your customers but also sell individual selection of courses as well especially if you're an educational entity you will be able to do that you screen provides you with those tools and features in order to accomplish that sort of goal and i'm going to show you that today so the first thing that you need to do is you need to have videos added into your content library and i have several here so the courses the course videos that you're going to have they need to be already uploaded onto the back end all right so and within each video you want to go to each individual video and make sure that you're trying to set up for the courses that you have a uh, video title a full description for that video a short description all right um, you can allow downloading if you want to or if you want to keep it just straight up um, limited to the platform for them to stream on here without downloading the videos then you don't have to check this box or anything like that it's just you screen makes it to where it's very simple at the check of a box to make these things available but you don't have to allow downloading your video subtitles you can either delete the video um, appearance you want to make sure that you have a thumbnail image that you have it attached to a category all right um, if it's if you don't if you have plans on making this a, an actual collection though which we're going to get into that in a second then I don't think the category is actually going to be relevant right now at this moment especially if you're trying to create that individual course all right so trailer video if you want to have one for that um, Arthur we'll talk about Arthur's or I actually did a video in terms of why Arthur's are important but I won't go in depth in into this video but I'll leave a link in the description so you can check that out feature category image and feature video image so these thumbnails will pop up on the um, storefront side which is going to look like this let me go to catalog let me open this up all right which is going to be available right here in your storefront side which we're going to take a more of a look into that as also so once you got that information you're going to hit save now pricing what you want to do here if it's going to be a course you want to go ahead and make sure that the required access is checked and if for a subscription plan you don't want to put this on if you're just selling an individual course you don't want this to be available as one of the pieces of content that will be available for streaming because you're trying to make this part of a of course that isn't part of the streaming plan then you do not want to select the subscription plan what you're going to do is now you're going to enable one-time purchase all right you're going to enable one-time purchase but we're going to not do it here on the individual video we're going to do it on the collection okay so um, you can set it for let's say by the time we get to the collection though let's say the whole entire course collection is about a hundred dollars in each individual video if you have 10 videos within that collection then you want in each individual video maybe be ten dollars if they own if you want them to buy each individual if the customer or you want to give them an option to buy each individual video one at a time then you want to price accordingly so that's something that you want to keep in mind but we won't do the enable pricing here and publication you want to actually put it on published status so it can be available for purchase so by the time that um, somebody comes onto the collection they can actually get it all right so extras is also extra additional resources you may want to add maybe it's some course documentation to that specific video so that's something that you may want to keep in mind as well uh, SEO uh, e-commerce features uh, your SEO data things that you can actually put here that will make it uh, easily found this search especially within your you screen platform so it can be easily searched on your own platform by your customers and you want to assign custom filters uh, so you create that and I talk about custom filters in my uscreen quick start guide course which is in the description as well now with all this out of the way and talking about the individual videos now we want to do once we actually have all the videos because the two I'm gonna be using for this one is professor one video and professor two so it's a two video course collection all right that's not much of a course if it's only two videos right but we're going to use that just for the sake of this tutorial 
we're going to go co to collections. And what I'm going to do now is I'm going to add a new collection. And we're going to name this the professor collection, the professor course. I'm sorry, we'll just name it that, the professor course. Okay, full description, something along the lines of this is a course on how to become a professor. Something very simple. And we'll just copy and paste this into the short description. All right, and I'm going to hit save to save that information. Now, appearance, I'm going to put this on, uh, whoops, say, well, this is going to be a literary course. This is going to be a literature course. I mean, literature, literary professor. All right, uh, upload image. We want to have a thumbnail image, so I'm going to lose just a random picture right now. All right, we're going to use a random picture. Okay, and let's just use this uh, world picture right here that I got. We'll just use that for now. Okay, and I'll just, because this has like a YouTube thumbnail piece, I don't care about the blurriness at this moment, the resolution, because we're only just using this as an example. Uh, the trailer video, I'm not going to worry about that right now at this moment, but if you want to provide and build excitement and anticipation, give people a sneak peek of what this is about, then you want to add a trailer video, even for a course. That would be very serviceable and beneficial for your audience, authors. We, uh, like I said, I'm gonna leave a link because I went in depth already about Arthur's. But really, let's just say, for example, if you are licensing content and you're bringing on other people to sell their stuff onto your platform because you're paying the bills, you're paying the light bills and providing a marketplace for them, and you want to actually try to find a way to add more content quickly to your platform, then this is Arthur's is going to be a, a huge, I think, a very more one of the more valuable features right here on you screen for that because of that idea that i just shared with you but for this sake we're going to say that professor one is the creator of this you know feature video and this is the catalog image so we need to uh actually have a feature category image and i'm going to use the same image for now all right this may not be exact but that's okay Okay, and pick a video to appear as a background video for the catalog slide banner. So I don't, right now we're not going to, well actually I can use a video that's already right here. So we're going to use Professor One video. So, so that will pop up in the, in this area when it's time to actually show what that collection looks like. And now playlist. So now what we want to do is we want to add a video. We're going to add Professor One video. We don't want to make it available for free. We don't want that. And we're going to add Professor 2. So just these two videos right now. Now add divider. Um, if you wanted to, let's just say, for example, if you're sectioning off your courses, all right, like, you know, folder A is like a beginner stage. Is phase one is like a set of videos that have introductory videos. And we want to like say, you know, uh, part one, part one, intro. All right, and then what you could do is you hit enter, and then you could just move that to separate, you know, your videos, and then part two would be all right, part uh oh, part two. Okay, maybe it's um in depth analysis or something like that. Okay, perfect. So if you're really making course videos and you have like one that's like in this section, it's going to be a series of eight videos. It's all introductory. And then the next section is going to be more of a deep dive. You're talking about, I don't know, we were doing a literary professor. Let's say we wanted to talk about uh, Shakespeare and writing or something like that. So we want to make it, we want to just divide it off. Okay. But for this case, we're not going to have, because we only got two videos. So I'm going to remove the dividers. And we're just going to leave these as is. Okay. And then so for pricing, we're going to also now this price right here is for the whole entire like video collection. So that's why I was telling you to go ahead and make sure the individual details for those videos are already set before you even add them to the collection. And you want to, like I said, have an idea in terms of what your entire price is going to be for the collection. However, for the uh, individual video, 
you need to price it accordingly if it's going to be part of a course so if the entire collection is a hundred dollars and you got 10 videos go back in there and make each video enable at um, ten dollars a pop to equate to the hundred dollars going up or if you want to do uh, a deal like okay instead of getting individual videos won't you buy this whole collection at a cheaper price so you want to maybe price get all the individual videos at fifteen dollars but make the whole entire collection a hundred so that way it, it discourages people from having to buy individual courses that's one also pricing strategy that you could do in terms of this as well so we don't want to do a subscription plan we want to do a one-time purchase and for the two videos we want to say that this two video course is going to be about $30. Okay, let's go ahead and let's hit save. So we want to say this is going to be a $30 course. So pretty cheap right now. <laughs> really, really affordable if it's just a $30 course. Just two videos. So that's going to be good. I'm going to hit save again. Okay. Now we want to go to publication. We want to make sure that it's on publish and we don't want to give it an expiration date. Okay. And like I said, same thing that I explained in the individual videos. If you want to do and add individual documentation for this, you could do that as well for these videos. All right. Um, and you could actually add individual, I mean, documentation for the whole entire collection. So I would probably just go ahead and wait until you can add this where you just add it to the collection rather than into each individual video unless there's something in that particular video where documentation needs to accompany it so and you can add multiple files as well um well it looks like okay so you already have to have the you know documents already added and i'll show you how to add those documents so you can just pull right here from your own back end repository so i'm gonna go ahead and hit save right here same thing that i talked about here as well with the custom filters geo blocking drip settings those things could actually be or they're actually more in depth talked about in my you screen you screen quick start guide so you may want to check that out so you can get a better understanding from a to z on what you need to do link in the description for that and pin comment as well so SEO, we've already talked about this. So this is the SEO for your entire course collection. So you want to make, you want to name it. You want to give it information that will make it easily findable within the search on your U screen backend. All right. So that's what you want to kind of focus on. Now to let me take care of this quick little detail real fast here, because now that we got everything pretty much taken care of, if you want to add uh, other files, Okay, you have to do it from the extras category within the overview side of adding content. So here I just picked a rich text file that I already had. Happiness is dumb. So any files that you want to add that will be pertinent to the course, you need to come here first to extras and then upload it, which I don't know why you screen didn't just add this as a feature. If you're trying to upload files, why you just can't upload it when you get to that step into the collection or any individual video. But anyway, neither here nor there. You have to add it from this side first. So add all the files that you need to extra files, resources, PDFs right here on this side. And then when it's time for you to go to the collection and add those resources, you could pull them easily from where we was just at just a moment ago. Now, with all that out of the way, now that we got all of this taken care of, what we want to do first is so right here is just the page that I actually created. This is a, a the landing page, the home page for the theme because I'm on a demo account as a Uscreen uh, affiliate. And I could actually use this to actually show how to, you know, utilize Uscreen and, and to show what, what potential and, and powers that you have using this platform. So what we want to do is want to go to catalog. Okay. All right. And now we can see that right here we have the professor course that pops up under the literature category because you want to when you actually set up your website and again all this is talked about in the use screen quick start guide but when you're setting up your website you're organizing your categories you're adding everything on your storefront home page this is where this is going to pop up all right so it's under the literature category so i'm gonna go ahead and click on this Okay, and as you can see, you can't watch any of these right now because it says get access now. All right, and then we have the author that we attached here to him. And we can see that. 
these two collections here these two videos are underneath the professor course collection that we added if I click on get access now okay it will then prompt me to where I could actually purchase or your users to purchase this course all right for the price of thirty dollars and this is not just the just because you clicked on that one video let me go back so I could actually show you what I mean let me refresh this page okay just because you clicked on just one video because these are under the uh, whole entire collection we see this is under collection I don't want you to be alarmed that you're only paying thirty dollars just for that one video that you're you collected on so let's not get that twisted when you pay for the thirty dollars here you're going to be able to get the both of the videos because they're underneath that one collection you will put your email full name and then you'll get a password uh, so you can log in and continue to watch the course because it's not available for download we didn't make it available for download and then once you complete the order all right or you could gift it to somebody but once you've actually completed your order then you can go ahead and have that content as well so this is how you sell a course right here on Uscreen. and as you can see if I go back to catalog I still have other videos that have nothing to do with um, I think I made this one free this is still underneath the this video is underneath the subscription pricing tag so that means that this is available if you log in and you have a your subscription let's say you're on a somebody that has a yoga channel or some fitness channel or whatnot and you know when you have a login you have access to all these videos because of you know like a Netflix or Hulu access but just within this case with you screen there's gonna be certain things that you'll be able to customize and make only available through single purchases especially if it's a single course that you're trying to sell and you don't want it available for streaming all right so if you're if you have a high ticket high productive production course that you created and you don't want it to be under like you feel like this is man super valuable i want this to be a a part course a seven part series course that i want people to go through but i want them to pay this price and not have access to it under a monthly subscription you know uh because you feel like that's going to water down the, the 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 whole course that people won't really uh take it as seriously because it is part of that whole five ninety nine or three ninety nine subscription that you got monthly then that's what that would be the purpose of selling a course on top of already having an individual subscription plan with your account all right because of that offering so you can have a you can have subscriptions on top of you can have subscriptions on top of you know or courses sold on top of the subscriptions that you're actually creating all right so i'm trying to see how can i get this video to play here so okay i'm not really logged in right now so and these aren't really available for free right now at this moment because they are part of the subscription under this demo account as i set it up for example so that's the reason why you can't really or we can't really watch it right now at this moment in time all right so that is going to be do it for this video right here all right as we can see um, these okay here's an example before I say it's gonna be it for this video so these two are available for free but this one you have to get access now all right and I made this to where this whole series was hundred and ninety seven dollars so this is also a one-time purchase but I made it to where uh, these other two videos are available for free to watch but this is an individual collection as part of one hundred and ninety seven dollars so so you see that you can have individual sales for their own price on top of the subscription for the other videos. All right, now we're going to be officially done with this video. If you um do not have a Uscreen account and you're watching this video and you're interested in not only having a streaming platform but wanting to sell courses on top, then this is going to be it for you. Click the tinyurl.com, join Uscreen link at the bottom. Also as well, you can also check out the quick start guide if you just bought a Uscreen account and you don't know where to get started and I will walk you through from A to Z on those things as well. Thanks again for watching and I'll see you in the next one.